hope you guys are having a better day than some of the people in this video that had to put up with selfish people. I have a feeling I'm gonna be annoyed. 90% of the time I'm annoyed, so not very rare, but selfish people, there's just something about it. There's just something about it. I don't like it. Cheers. Yep. Hydrate, it's good for you. Drink your water, but also, <laughs> Drink whatever you want. And if you're drinking alcohol, drink for the both of us, okay? Also, if you guys have not heard the news, I created a brand new Facebook page called It's Me, Just Be. For those who aren't on TikTok or other social media, it's just a new page where I show a little more of my personal life, not just reaction videos, just more lifestyle and other things like that. So if you wanna check it out, it's linked in the description below. It's me, Just Be. Hey girl, I don't know if you heard, but me and Blank are having a baby girl. I really love your daughter's style and was wondering if instead of a gift, if you would send me her clothes that are too little. I like posh peanut, monograms, Burberry, or anything designer. Oh, well then, these are not just any hand-me-downs. They are all designer. Y'all putting babies in Burberry? Now that is some shit. Kids just like, poop themselves, pee, wipe their boogers, spit up. Y'all are really putting these kids in Burberry? That's crazy. Congratulations on your pregnancy. Thank you for the compliment on Mary Charles's clothing. Mary Charles's? Well, it's Mary Charles. Mary Charles, what a funky name. Hi, my name is Mary Charles. That's kind of cool. I want to keep some of her more expensive items for my future kids, but I can send you several things with tags still on it. That's amazing. From Carter's, Nike, and some Posh Peanut. Also, I don't think our daughters will have the same monogram since your last name starts with an F, but if you're naming her something with an M, then I might have some items. Okay, this is so nice. Stuff that's not even used. I don't even know how they're not gonna like just start thanking them. Like, how is this gonna turn? LOL. First of all, they put LOL in big letters. What's funny? The first thing in this text should say thank you. LOL, it's a gift, silly goose. You would need to get a new monogram on it before you send it to us. Her name is going to be Raylin May, and you can just buy her new, dis oh my God and you can just buy new designer stuff for your next kids. We don't have money like that. Quite honestly, if you're not willing to send what I want, then don't bother sending anything at all. My baby is only gonna wear nice clothes. I didn't realize just how selfish the people were gonna be in today's video. Oh, that irks me so much. I don't even have kids. Thank God it's not me because my response would be not pleasant. I set out little miniature Bob Ross paintings around my tourist town for people to find. And I have an Instagram specifically for the project. That's fun. I post about it in the town's tourist page and people frequently request paintings be put out on certain dates, but this is a first for me. Hey, can you put a picture out in front of the Disney Resort somewhere on August 7th? I'll text you and let you know what time will work. Thanks. Aw, I'm glad you like them, but I prefer folks find them or organically. When I paint them is completely dependent on my work schedule. If you'd like to get two mailed to you, one to keep and one to hide for someone else to find, you can donate to one of my preferred charities lists in my featured story, Get Your Own. Thank you so much for reaching out and I hope you enjoy your time here. Okay, this person's amazing. They have a job, they do this on the side for fun, and then they don't even ask for payment. They, they say, if you wanna pay me, just donate to one of my favorite charities. This person is a freaking saint. I'm not gonna pay for it. I just want my kid to find it. It will be organic. I just need to make sure you put it out sometime when we will be there and can run down and grab it. So not organic. Unfortunately, that defeats the purpose of my project, which is providing random art for unsuspecting individuals to find. I do place clues as soon as the pictures are claimed. You can also donate to one of the preferred charities and send me a receipt and I'll mail you two and cover the cost of shipping and all. This person's far too generous. If you'd like to place one of those out and lead your child to them, you can. My preferred charities are the Black Arts Future Fund or this program for exceptional people, but you can choose your own as long as it's arts-centered. Oh! They responded with, you suck. 
And why would I donate to a black charity, All Lives Matter? I'm flabbergasted. They responded with, and that's the end of that. Yep, block. Oh my God, we've got a saint and then we have literal Satan. Hi guys, my fridge freezer just gave up on me, so I'm looking to see if anyone has one. Thanks in advance. Sorry guys, my toaster and kettle gave up on me now. Honestly, can this day get any worse? Okay, so you need a fridge freezer, you need a toaster, and you need a kettle. Okay, someone commented underneath, see my post today, once approved, in case this fridge freezer is any use for you. Oh, okay, and they attach some pictures, it's clean. It's a full size from what it looks like. That's awesome. They wrote, this would be perfect if it had three freezer drawers. It had two drawers and a shelf. If you are desperate for something as important as this, it doesn't pay to be picky. Hopefully you took it anyway. Yeah, like literally three drawers you still get three shelves, technically. I get the third one's not a drawer, but if you're struggling that hard for a freezer, you would take this. Well, that's a pretty dress. <gasps> I love that dress. So they are in need of somebody who will make this dress for me. Make two, please, because I want one. All right, we got a little comment. They've, they added, oh, okay. They attach a screenshot of a person who could make the dress for them like a company, a brand, a person. I'm not looking to buy it. Ooh. She makes custom dresses exactly as you want it. Does she do it for free? <laughs> Nobody will make a custom dress for free. Thanks, but this is a buy nothing group. Is there a group on Facebook called buy nothing and people are just handing out business for free? Because drop the link, don't gatekeep. That's a lot of material, that's cost, that's fabric, that's time, that's energy, that's skill. No freaking way. Is somebody making that dress for free? Someone posted this, seeking advice on social media. Wow, it got 180 interactions. Damn, people had a lot of opinions. How do you handle someone being really pushy about a project? Someone at work wants me to make them a quilt and with the fabrics she wants and all the materials, when it's all said and done with labor, it's going to be like an $800 quilt. <gasps> I told her what it would be and she said that's way too much so I politely told her that's what it would be and I cannot do it for free. I thought that was the end of the conversation until today when she asked when her quilt would be done. That's awkward. One, I didn't agree to do it. And two, no money has been exchanged. I really don't want to do the quilt because I don't believe I would be paid for the work. And honestly, I feel even if she gave me a deposit, she would stiff me on the rest since she was adamant that the cost was too high and mentioned how much cheaper Walmart is also. Any advice? Yes, you say, great. Thank you so much for your interest. Go to Walmart. Hey, are you still doing fitness plans? I'm looking to get one for my wife as a late Christmas present. I hope your wife wanted one and you're not just deciding this for her. I am indeed. What kind of plan are you looking for? Just a general weight loss plan. Do you do meal plans as well? If you do, I'd like to pick up one of those as well. I can do both meal plans and exercise plans. For a combined fitness plus meal plan, it's $50. Oh, that was a lot more cheap than I thought it was gonna be. Sweet, gotta make some new recipes for the new year. Ha 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 ha. So does that sound good to you? Yeah, for sure. Also, do you think you can get it done before tomorrow? She's leaving with her friends for a getaway thing and I want to give it to her in person before she goes. I mean, I suppose if I started on it now, I could get it done by tomorrow around three to 4 p.m. Is that okay? Also, can I get your wife's measurements, height, weight, age, activity level to calculate how many calories she burns, etc for the meal plan. That time sounds good. Also, I know you're not gonna like this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I knew it was too good to be true. Also, I know you're not gonna like the sound of this, but I don't exactly know her measurements exactly. And if I asked her, it would kind of ruin the surprise, plus seem kind of offensive. If I had to guess, she's around 160 to 70 pounds, 5'6-ish, 34, doesn't really leave the house apart from going shopping. Did she ask for this weight loss plan and you're surprising her with it? Or are you like, yo, lose weight, I'm getting you a meal plan. 
I'm confused on the vibe here. Okay, I suppose I can work with that. If she has any exercise preferences slash injuries, please let me know. No response. Hi, the fitness plan is ready now. Do you have an email I can send it to or should I drop it to you via a Dropbox link. As for payment, my PayPal is blank. I can also take payment via crypto. PayPal works for me. I'll be getting paid on the 2nd of January, so I'll be able to pay you then. Huh, <laughs> how convenient. Okay, I'll send you the plan upon payment. Yes, you will. Is there any chance you'd be able to send it today? My wife is heading away in an hour and I don't want her to leave empty handed. Not my problem. If you're able to send me a deposit of $30, I'll send it to you. I never send any plans without payment. I'm sorry if it's inconvenient for you, but it's my personal policy. It's my business and my time. Please have faith. I promise you I'll pay you on the second. My marriage is in a bad enough spot as it is and I can't afford to be embarrassed again. I already told her that she'd be getting a present today. Look man, you're the one who waited till after Christmas to get this gift. I don't even know the vibe of this. The way you're saying she never leaves the house, you don't know her measurements. Like, I just have a feeling you're just deciding to get her this fan. But I'm hoping maybe she said, babe, I really wanna lose weight, I can't afford a plan. And then you're like, ooh, I'll surprise her. But I just, I don't know, I don't know. I don't like any of this. I don't like it. I don't. I posted about this woman a few months ago. She's about to be homeless, oh, and wants help, but you better, Bring snacks and an apology. This is the post. If you need something to do this weekend, I could use help packing and cleaning. If I've sent you away before, unfriended, blocked, and you still want to help, you better come with boxes, snacks, and an apology. Well, I'm just assuming that the people you have sent away, unfriended, or blocked, probably don't want to help you anymore. All right, we got another, man, Facebook. Everything's on Facebook. Like all these stories, people are wild on there. Anyone got free food to get rid of, car broke down, had to get it fixed, and no money to get food now. Hello. Hello. They said, hi, happy to help out. I can bank transfer you $20. Just out right now, so can't go to the shops. That is very generous of them. They wrote, can you transfer me at least 50. My fridge is empty. $20 is really all about I can spare right now. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Can you pay ID me? Okay. That must be like an app or something. Yeah. What's your pay ID? They sent it. Done. Hope it helps. Okay. Thank you. Okay. That's great. They message again. Hello. They say, hey, everything okay? Yeah, sort of needs some money for dessert. Oh my God. Oh, you ruined it. You ruined everything. Even though you should have never said at least 50. Someone's offering you $20 out of their own pocket to get you some food, man. Just take the food. You don't need dessert. Take the food. Be grateful. Oh man. Oh man. See, that would suck because then you, you would immediately regret helping that person because it would feel so not appreciated. We got an Instagram story post here. I don't want birthday DMs. I don't want my Amazon wish list touched. Okay. Just Venmo, Zelle, or Cash App. That's it. I just had a baby, folks. Get your head out of your ass. And in reality, coming from someone who just had a baby and is online demanding people to send them money, what do you mean? Get your head out of your butt and into reality. Yeah, where's your head? What reality are you living in? That you could just go online and be like, yo, I only take Venmo, Zelle, Cash App, send me money for your birthday. And then you can ask like this. I get, you're a mom out there. Maybe you're a single mom. You need some help. This is not the way to ask. I'm leaving annoyed. What else is new? But on a good note, I am still very happy. And uh, thanks for being here. Stay classy out there. Stay sassy and I hope you're having a good day. Okay, I truly do. I truly do. It's not feeling that way, but I really do.